What's up y'all, Deets here. Today we're making Chinese five spice short ribs. This is gonna be awesome. I am super excited and let's get cooking. So we're starting the night before and we're making our Chinese five spice seasoning from scratch. In a dry pan, we're toasting black peppercorns, cloves, cardamom pods, fennel, and a cinnamon stick. Toast these for about a minute and a half and they should become extremely fragrant. Because we're no longer in the stone age, let's use technology to grind our spices. Whirl this around in a food processor until... Sorry about that, the cinnamon jammed up the blade a little bit. Anyways, whirl this around until... Oh, come on! And like I said, there's nothing like going old school and grinding our seasoning up by hand. Now here's what's up folks. Earlier on, I toasted up some cardamom pods. And here's the thing, cardamom pods are not part of Chinese Five Spice. And I like its flavor in there, it's just not part of the typical spice blend. So later on I toasted and ground up some star anise, which is what I originally meant to use. But this is more like a Chinese Six Spice seasoning. Now with our seasoning done, let's focus on the short ribs. I'm cutting these in between the bones into large cubes. Also, depending on your particular cut of short ribs you are working with, it may be wise to trim some of the excess fat off the ends, as this is already a pretty fatty cut of meat. With our beef trimmed, we're hitting this with some sea salt, making sure to turn our cubes to season every side. After that, I'm doing the same process with our Chinese Six Spice blend and rubbing the seasoning into the meat. Once they are thoroughly covered, they are dry brining in the fridge overnight. The next day, I'm adding some oil into a cast iron pan and cranking up the heat. I'm placing our short ribs into sear on each side and I'm only turning them once they have a nice crust formed. Once all of our meat has been seared into the same pan without cleaning it, I'm adding quartered oranges and a rough chopped onion. After a few minutes, I'm also adding in three to four cloves of garlic. Once these have sufficient color on them, I'm adding them into the vessel that I am braising the meat in and deglazing my cast iron pan with some Merlot. This wine is then added into my braising vessel as well. Late to the party, but not forgotten, is some chopped ginger and dried chilies. Place your seared beef in as well, and our braising liquid will consist of red wine, chicken broth, rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, soy sauce, hoisin, honey, chili crisp, and some leftover six spice seasoning. Stir this together, cover with tin foil, and place into a 300 degree oven for four hours or until the beef is tender. Just before the meat is done, I'm starting my rice, and the first step is to wash off the starch. Next, I'm adding chicken base to my water, dumping in my washed rice, and bringing this up to a boil. Once it is boiling, I'm covering with a lid and reducing the heat so it simmers. Once the rice is completely cooked, in goes some butter and scallions, and there we have it. The last component of our meal is our sauce, which is just our braising liquid being reduced to thicken. I am adding in some scallions though and skimming off some of the fat. And with this thickened up nicely, let's plate this. We'll put down a nice little bed of rice then gently lean our tender short ribs next to it. Add a little sexy drizzle of our sauce and this is beautiful. Here we got our brave short ribs and our rice. I'm just gonna dig into this and let you know how it is. Oh. I mean, my goodness, this is such a good cut of meat. I mean, the, because it's fatty, it just melts in your mouth. The flavors are intense. It just kind of breaks apart when you bite into it. This is awesome. If you've never cooked with short ribs, I recommend you doing it. But thank you so much for watching Deets Eats. See you next time. Yo, you should definitely like, share, and comment. But in reality, I'm just happy that you watched. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you next time.